I'm super disappointed in like their heartlessness, honestly. Like, it just isn't something, I mean, do they have animals? Devastated dog owner is searching for answers tonight after she says state highway officials lied about dumping her pet's remains. The dog had escaped and was fatally hit along I-83. April Beal says MDOT Cruz found the dog and promised to give her a proper burial. But as Fox 45's Rebecca Pryor is reporting, almost a week later, a disturbing discovery was made. Rebecca joins us live with more on this. Rebecca. Yeah, that's right, Mary. Beale tells me that she was shocked to learn that her dog hadn't been buried when her neighbors found it here, seemingly thrown from this highway overpass and left just feet from a well-traveled street. As you can tell immediately from the mailbox overlooking April Beale's eight acres of land in rural Baltimore County. Everybody in this neighborhood has dogs. This is an animal loving household where pets rule the roost. Yeah, lots of animals for sure. In addition to 40 chickens, 13 quail, yeah. snakes and turtles, the Beals have rescued five dogs. But recently, the newest member of the family, a one year old German Shepherd named Molly, escaped the electric fence. She was literally one of the sweetest dogs I've ever met. She was very chill. She liked to come and snuggle on the couch with the kids and lay out here with them all the time. Beal, who spent all morning frantically searching the neighborhood, eventually learned the devastating news on social media. I got on the Hereford community group and saw the post about the dog being hit between Belfast and Chawan Road. I ended up driving, getting all three of my kids together and driving up the highway to see if I could find her which I didn't. They, somebody had already moved her body. That someone was state highway crews. A friend noted they saw an MDOT truck in the area, so Beale called their local office and was given the option to retrieve Ollie's body. They were like, well, she's you know badly mangled and we wouldn't advise for you to come up here to get her anyways, but we can bury her somewhere here in Hereford. At the time, it was a weight off Beale's shoulders. She even thanked the agency for taking such good care of her dog's remains until her neighbors made a disturbing discovery. It was just crazy, like I can't believe it. Ollie's body found here between two bridges below the overpass where she was hit, left for six days along a well-traveled path, not buried like MDOT had promised. So all week long, everybody was basically walking their dogs and walking past my dog. I was angry. I felt betrayed because these people told me that basically they had picked up my dog and they had her in their possession. My only thought was like, so what dog did they were they going to give me? In a statement to Fox 45, MDOT denying any wrongdoing, saying if an owner can't be located, protocol for disposing domestic animals is to, quote, respectfully relocate the remains to a wooded or unpopulated area. Going on to say they've apologized to the owner for any misunderstandings of the procedure. If they would have even just told me the truth, I wouldn't have been upset. Like I would have went and got her. Beal has since brought Ollie back and buried her peacefully on their property. I'm super disappointed in like their heartlessness. But she remains restless, questioning why her beloved pet wasn't handled with more care or compassion. It's unbelievable for me because these are like our family members, you know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> I get it if it's a deer or, you know, a wild animal, but it's an animal that has a collar on, that has a home. And it's crazy to me that they, like anybody can even do that. Today we followed up with MDOT showing them pictures of where Ali was found and questioning if they truly believe that this is an appropriate place to leave someone's dog. As of news time tonight, I have not heard back. Reporting live in Baltimore County, Rebecca Pryor, Fox 45 News. I'm Mary Bubala. Thank you for watching. Here's another video for you to watch. Also take some time to subscribe to our YouTube channel.